I'm standing on top of a uh, about a 30 foot excavation into the soft uh, unconsolidated sediment of the Turtle Mountain Formation, probably the Peace Garden member. It's a beige colored silt essentially that uh, has some bedding planes. Someone has taken the effort uh, to dig uh, this uh, backhoe uh, uh, pit uh, in uh, to the uh, Turtle Mountain. Uh, for what purpose, uh, we have no idea. There's another one just a few feet away. Uh, it exposes only a glacial section. It wasn't dug as deep as this one. And there is a much larger excavation further to the uh, north uh, of this location, maybe uh, 500 uh, to 1,000 feet away. With erosion, this opening is going to grow tremendously in size over the next 50 to 100 years unless it's properly sloped and uh, water uh, is taken off uh, through a culvert system or something out of here. This will grow larger and larger through time and produce uh, definitely some badland topography on the northwest flank of uh, Turtle Mountain. Turtle Mountain Formation, the Peace Garden member, has a uh, very fine-grained silt. Uh, it's uh, similar to the underlying uh, Boisevain Formation, but it doesn't have that characteristic uh, salt and pepper texture. It's also much finer grained uh, as such, and uh, it has a distinctive greenish uh, the look to uh, the uh, uh, sediment. It can also be lithified in places, and here's a harder uh, concretion. And uh, the concretion was probably formed in a similar manner to the concretions in the Boisevain, uh, the underlying uh, beds. It uh, sometimes can have uh, leaf imprints. Uh, you can actually find uh, the fact that it must have been fairly close uh, uh, to uh, vegetated areas, uh, highland areas where there was tree growth. Uh, the leaf imprints were probably carried uh, a, a short distance into the seaway and then deposited along with the fine grain silt. So uh, th where you do have uh, the lithified portions of the uh, Peace Garden member, then you will uh, possibly find uh, fossil imprints uh, uh, that are uh, uh, fairly uh, unique. And it makes it again different than the Boisevain because we don't see any kind of leaf imprint in the sands or any kind of uh, preservation there. Whereas here there seems to be a change in the environment uh, into tertiary times as opposed to the upper Cretaceous. And so you do have that uh, change in lithology. Again from a, a, a silica rich fine grained sand to a uh, very fine greenish silt uh, and uh, again leaf imprints and possibly other uh, plant materials in the Peace Garden member.